This question is a great example of why the predict the question strategy for writing is so important. So what I do when I'm looking at a new writing question is I'm always trying to analyze right away. Does it test the ideas, the grammar, or the style? It's not ideas because there's no question here. This is just about either grammar or style. Now, it doesn't seem like there's a grammar rule. There's no punctuation. It doesn't really seem to be changing the sentence structure or dealing with verbs or pronouns. This is a style question. And once I know that, I know the SAT's preferred style is to keep things short. So look, you might read this and be like, oh, I'd probably say A or I'd probably say C. Maybe I can delete it, but I don't know. Maybe that's important information. All of that is beyond what is tested on the SAT. We know the rules that the SAT is abiding by. They like shorter choices. So unless you have a really, really, really good reason to put words here, the default move should be to delete them. That's the answer, choice D. We don't need any of this. It doesn't add anything to say that it's causing the war to come about because in a way it's kind of redundant. To cause something is to make it come about, to make it happen, to make it occur. So cause is already covering all of these words. I get that that's not obvious for most people. In fact, you probably would write a sentence like this and not think twice about it. But when we have the multiple choices and we know the SAT's rules, we need to be thinking about those rules, not about what we would say, okay? This is about their preferred style and it is keep it short and D is the shortest choice.